This is CGTN, China Global Television Network. In Tunisia, new Prime Minister Elise Fakvek says economic priorities defined by his cabinet still remain insufficient for the country, given, of course, structural challenges in different sectors. Now, he wants a particip participatory approach to overhaul the development model which they have adopted. CGTN's Adnan Ashaushi has more from Tunis. The government's plan is based on large-scale projects that will be the core of a new social contract and will make of Tunisia a modern middle-income country with a high-value-added economy. The first project of economic reform provides for investing in the digital revolution. This national project will help usher Tunisia in the fourth industrial revolution. The digital revolution is a historic opportunity as it is based on human potential and does not require a lot of financial capital. Nearly 70% of all jobs in the future will be in the digital sector. Energy transition is at the heart of the second project, as Tunisia is importing over 50% of its needs at a time when there are 300 annual days of sunshine. There is need to tap into solar power to produce renewable energy as part of the strategy to achieve the hoped-for transition. Energy independence and security are among our top priorities. The third project consists of working out a comprehensive strategy to gain access to markets in sub-Saharan Africa. Efforts will be made to urge Tunisian business operators to invest in these countries. The new Premier's vision is to make Tunisia increasingly oriented towards Africa. He is intensifying efforts to step up and develop its trade with this continent, which has huge potential and strengthen its African integration. The government's fourth project consists of the reform of the agricultural and water sector. This project will take into consideration the social, economic, cultural, environmental and security aspects in the country. Outgoing Premier Yusuf Shahed has handed over power to Elias al and his government. al declared during the official ceremony that a salvation and reform program was devised and that parties from across the political spectrum are fully aware of the critical situation. Adnan Shawishi, CGTN, Tunis.